chapter of a serial. S E R I A L. Formerly called whatever you do, but now called Shadow of God. Stars Jules, Tom Sibley, Stephen Rommel, and Joe Wynn. Woo! This serialized play is written as they go. And the actors have never seen the script until just now. Possibly even the writer of the script has never seen the script until just now. He may be printing it at this very moment in the lobby of this fine, fine theater, which we are blessed to be able to hold our proceedings within. We decided to change the title of this serial from whatever you do to Chatting with God. Last month, only God was missing. He has returned, or has he? Welcome back to... You welcome back! Excuse me. You're the one who didn't show up last time. I said I wasn't going to be able to. So, sometimes you gotta let things go, man. It was a great concert you went to after all. Yeah, skinny fucky. Skinny puppy. <laughs> Asshole. <clears throat> Whatever. Yeah, just let it go, man. Let it go. Okay, fine. Okay, so... Well, here we are again. Welcome back to the serialized adventures of these twats who do what is no longer called whatever you do and now called chatting with God. Yeah, right. There is no God! Could be. <laughs> Not. Well, whatever. I am here and so are you and so are they. That is indubitable. Maybe. It is, and also indisputable, it is that they're not here to see you bigger. Why not? Isn't that what people often pay for? To see people bigger and fight on stage or screen? Or fuck. <laughs> yes, that too love making. Yeah. <laughs> Those are usually good people with loads of talent. Which you are all clearly not. Every so often your brain flows all right. It's like clinking along, often thudding, throbbing. Sometimes not working at all, aches and bangs and a whistle, but then sometimes it just gets light and airy, and those we call the good moments. I was supposed to say that. Oh, sorry. So, welcome to Chatting with God, part 23, entitled The Good Moments. Which is almost over, thank God. You don't know that. You can't know that. I lost my soul in a recent election, and my brain and heart and stomach all voted. The other parts, too. Landslide, but you ever feel like your life is just marking time? Uh, nobody feels like that. But you sure should. About your life. I mean, I would if I were you. Shut up, asswad. You ask with your depressed soul. Ever think about the things you say and do and wonder where the hell did I come up with this shit? You should. It comes from the wonderful wonders that is your brain and soul, young man. Well, aren't you just perky tonight? <laughs> and why isn't he young? And you are older. Wait, I have no age. The only thing left in this world that I even like are cats. <laughs> yeah, well, those don't always work. It all just comes from within, man. Everything you need is inside you. You just need to accept it. So anyway, I guess you're arranged for the Peruvian prostitute. Perhaps some Haitian hookers? Well, if it's like that, Egyptian escorts, maybe? Or maybe some Samoan strumpets? What about Hungarian harlots? Or Angelos? Maybe some Singaporean streetwalkers? And then too dangerous. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Here, I have a beautiful poem that I wrote after not sleeping for like days. <laughs> it's free of charge. Sleep death sets in deep. The cold wind chills the spine and the non-existent god of nobody. Brain cells tingle <laughs> in a tiny time tunnel, popping up for a little bit of air called life. <laughs> I thought it was lovely. Okay, it's time to wrap it up. Hey, that was short. I loved you guys. Indeed. Those were the good moments. And we will leave you with this Otisian proverb. 
Life's a weirdo, but then you are one.